Hello, beautiful one. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight about his honest feelings about you. And I will share with you all of the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you would like a private reading, please visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. And this would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. His honest feelings about you. I will share with you the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you would like a private reading, please visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. You're naturally drawn here to your card. Care for yourself. And with this energy, so what I am picking up from him is that he feels like you're in a place right now where you're pulling back your energy. You are really focused on moving forward, letting go of old habits and ending things that are not serving you and starting new beginnings. He feels like you are on a new path right now. And this is why he feels a bit jaded, if you know what I mean. He feels like you are not giving him the attention that you were once giving him before. Let's get more clarification. What's happening with his feelings about you? You have here the Seven of Cups. So this is a clear indication that he is definitely in his feeling. The cup energy does represent the water energy and the emotions. Water zodiac signs, Pisces, also Cancer and Scorpio. Could be in the top placements of the birth chart, the sun, moon, or rising signs of his chart or your chart as a confirmation here in the reading. But with the Seventh of Cups card showing up, this is something like he has commitment issues. He has commitment issues. He also feels like you have options, like you have other choices other than him. And so it makes him feel a bit uncomfortable to know that you have options. You have other people, other masculine energy, divine masculine energy that can't command your attention if you like. And that makes him feel a bit uncomfortable, sort of like he's in this competition with other guys for your attention and affection. But let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? What are his honest feelings? Gypsy. So it blame my gypsy soul. This is interesting because he, he sees you as being very unique. Someone that does have high intuition. And I love this because with the cancer here showing up in the water energy with the seven of cups, cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon rules over intuition. And so he feels like you know what he's thinking. You know him by now. You know his actions. You know, even when he's not speaking to you, you know exactly how he's going to move. He gets it. You have a high intuition. He knows that he can't lie to you play games with you, pull the wool over your eyes, 
because he knows that you can see straight through him. You're very different in this way. Different than other females or feminine energy that he may know or have came across. He cannot trick you and he knows it. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? Be my attention. No, buy my attention to things. I am making choices. Let's see what it says. It says, what people do not understand is that you do not choose something by looking at it and shouting. Yes, I would like some of that. You make your choices by your attention to things. And in this universe that is based on attention, when you look at an unwanted thing, your attention to it causes an activation of the vibration within you. And then the law of attraction brings more like that into your experience. And I love this card showing up because Spirit just gave us that insight moments earlier about how you are withdrawing your attention from him, withdrawing your energy from him. So this is a clear message that, yes, that's what he's feeling right now. You're not giving him the attention that you once gave him. You, you're putting more of your attention into yourself and to self-care, protecting your mind, your body, and your spirit, protecting your heart, being concerned with how you feel and putting yourself first. And so this is just a clear indication of that. Thank you, spirit. And so let's get more insight. Quite intriguing. So what is his honest feelings about you? What are his honest feelings? <laughs> and the four of pentacles, this is physical energy, earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. In the top placements of the birth chart that I did just mention moments earlier, either yours or his, as a confirmation in the reading. And specifically here with the four of pentacles energy, he is unfulfilled with the relationship connection. I feel like he wants to surprise you with, with something. He, he wants to surprise you with like a gift or something. As seen here with the Four of Pentacles. He's feeling quite unfulfilled with the relationship connection. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? And you have here the golden ratio, beauty, nature, and patterns. So with this energy showing up, beauty, nature, and patterns, this is a nice correlation with the four of pentacles that just came out because the four of pentacles represented that earth energy. And beauty is represented by Taurus because Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus. And it also rules over the zodiac sign of Libra. So it's like patterns here. He knows that you are recognizing his patterns of inconsistencies. He's not doing the things that he says he's going to do. He's not following through the way that he said he would or the way he speaks about. Thank you, Spirit. You're seeing patterns. You are recognizing that all of a sudden, there's like an eye-opening, eye-opening experience for you, seeing different patterns that are taking place with him, within his personality, within his emotions. There's a pattern, and that pattern is something that you're using to really analyze this person and your connection to him. He knows that you are recognizing the patterns. Thank you, Spirit. But most of all, you're also recognizing your emotional response to the patterns, how you're feeling. And you are not liking how you're feeling about this energy. 
associated with him. So that's why you're in this space here for taking care of yourself. Really disconnecting from the energy that's no longer serving you and focusing as seen here with the law of attraction, focusing your attention on the things that you want to take place instead of focusing your attention on something that you don't want. Let's get more insight. Quite intriguing. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? What are they? Ooh, look at the four of pentacles coming out twice. He's unfulfilled, very unhappy with his actions, his self, what he's doing with his life, the moves he's making regarding his career, the things he's doing, playing games. He's acting as if he's very confident, but he's not because he's playing games. And you cannot be fulfilled, a fulfilled human being, when you are trying to manipulate. When you are manipulated. So you see here with the Four of Pentacles, this is a very strong confirmation in the reading that he is very unfulfilled very regretful with his actions and the way that he has treated you in this connection, the way he has communicated with you. I love how the Four of Pentacles came out twice with two different cards. So your reading is extremely accurate. I'm very, very grateful that the energy is showing up like this. Thank you, Spirit. And with the Four of Pentacles, I see here, so this is four and you have four on the card, four and four. So four, four, four is significant in your reading. That is a clear message from your spirit guides to really pay attention to the synchronicity number four, four, four. Your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you and get a message to you. You may have been seeing that number a lot lately. And also here at the end of your reading, you're encouraged to look up four, 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 because there's a message for you from your spirit guides. It is the message of the ascendant masters. Someone who has ascendant, who is of, of the higher realm, trying to reach out to you, trying to communicate to you something. Very important. Thank you, Spirit. I love this for you. So beautiful. Number one, this does conclude your reading. And if this reading does resonate with you and inspire you, Please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, if you would like a more in-depth reading, personal reading, please visit my website at claritybay.com. And yes, you did hear my other phone ring. And that is a clear message here for you that it's very important that you get an even deeper in-depth reading. I can go even deeper with your personal reading. Some things I cannot share here with you on YouTube, but I can share with you in a personal reading. Visit my website at claritybay.com. Click like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. His honest feelings about you. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. That is how you can help to support the channel. Also, if you would like a more in-depth personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. There are some things where I can go extremely deep into your reading that I cannot share here on YouTube. Let's get straight into your reading. I can see here your energy is naturally drawn to your card. Surrender. Mm. To your soul. Surrender to your soul. What I'm picking up from his energy just straight off here with this is that he's really, I feel like He's not happy, first of all, with the way the relationship is going. He's not happy 
at all. He's not happy with you tapping into that greater and higher version of yourself, seeing your self-worth, valuing yourself. It triggers him to know that you may not need him the way he thought you needed him before. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here, I intended to co-create for my place of positive attraction. Let's see what it says further. This is a clear message from Spirit to let you know that the individual creators who are coming together must be in a place of positive attractions before they can come together or nothing positive can come out of the co-creation. I love this for you. I love this for you. See, he's in a negative space right now, really accepting that you could be moving forward. You could be moving on. You could be tapping into that higher version of yourself. Self-love, self-strength, self-respect, self-assurance, and just really leveling up your life. Thank you, Spirit. It bothers him because he's the type of person that's kind of controlling, and he knows he cannot control you, and he cannot control the narrative. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. This is someone that loves to talk, loves to be in control of the conversation, sometimes cut you off mid-sentence. So let's get more insight. And it bothers him that you have your own thoughts. You have your own mind. You're not here to be controlled. Look at the Knight of Swords coming out. This is specifically about communication. The sword energy represents communication, intellect, and the air zodiac signs. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra seen in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. Seen in the sun, moon, or rising signs, seventh house, or relationships, or even the planet Venus here. Thank you, Spirit. I love that coming out immediately with that message of... I'm not wanting you to think for yourself. Have your own communication pattern. Thank you, Spirit. The Knight of Swords energy is also a clear message and indication that this person talks really fast. He's a fast-talking person and can sometimes suck you in with just his words. So pay attention. Spirit is encouraging you here to trust your intuition. Trust the action, things that he has shown you. And also here with the Knight of Swords energy, you know what? It's about your lifestyle change, how you're changing on him. And he sees you changing. It's like the caterpillar turning into the butterfly here. He's not happy with it. Let's keep going. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? His honest feelings, crop circles, messages, curiosity, and signs in alignment here with the Knight of Swords. So I'm very grateful that the uh, Crop Circles card did come out immediately after the Knight of Swords. This is about communication and messages. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, messages, curiosity, energy, signs. He feels he can see signs. He can see the patterns on how you're moving, how you're communicating with him. It's not the same. You've changed. He knows that you have changed. He sees the signs. He's trying to ignore the signs. He's trying to act like they're not there, hoping that those signs would go away and you would just, you know, play the way that he wants you to play. Do what he wants you to do. Be how he wants you to be. But see, you're seeing signs within him, how he's moving, and you're recognizing a pattern as seen with the crop circles. You recognize a pattern of behavior. And you're uncomfortable with that pattern of behavior. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. This is air energy, crop circles, laying naturally here under this sword energy, representing the air and the intellect. So he knows that you're very smart. He knows that you're tuned in to what's happening in this connection. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. His feelings about you his honest feelings here Ooh, the seven of cups so with the seven of cups energy this is definitely about his emotions he is in his feelings big times let me point out here that the um seven of cups is about he has commitment issues not only commitment issues to his relationships but even commitment issues to his career 
his gifts, his talents. It, it not, and not only romantic partnership commitment issues, but commitment issues to his responsibilities as well. He has commitment issues. He knows, though, that you have options. See, you're this divine feminine energy that has lots of options. You don't have to deal with him. And that's what makes him very uncomfortable. He knows that you can move forward. You can move on anytime that you want. He's not going to let you know that he knows that. That he know that you don't need him. The cup energy rules over the water zodiac signs. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer are seen in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart. As a clear confirmation here in the reading. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? What are his honest feelings? <laughs> a lion-hearted, the lioness, Leo showing up. Look at Leo showing up. He knows you're beautiful. Leo, the lover, knows you're beautiful, you're bold, you're brave. Leo is the only zodiac sign ruled by the sun. So you're someone, again, that stands out in a crowd. And you stand out to that divine masculine energy as well. You stand out. And he knows that. There's something about your eyes that are very intriguing. He loves your eyes. But he will not tell you that because he feels like if he tells you too much that you're beautiful or that your eyes are captivating, he feels like you will take that and like run with it or you would take that and you would just have such confidence that you won't give him the time of day. But that's not you. You're very humble. You would actually would appreciate it if he told you the truth on how he sees you aesthetically. He sees you as being very beautiful. Leo, significant. Thank you, spirit. Significant in the top placements of the birth chart. Let's get more insight. What are his honest feelings about you? Look at the three of pentacles showing up. Physical, earth energy, the pentacle energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Significant. The three of pentacles, it's here, it's, it's about teamwork and co collaboration. He knows that you're a team player. And that's one of the things that he loves about you. You have like, you know, skill and quality. What you do, the things that you do, you, you do things with quality, craftsmanship. The way you carry yourself is of high value, high quality. And he knows this. He's afraid that you will not be on his team. You'll find your own team. You're going to collaborate with other people and be very successful. That's something he does fear. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. If you would like a private reading, please visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. His honest feelings about you. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you would like a more personal, in-depth reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. There are some things that I can share with you in a personal reading that I may not be able to share with you here on YouTube. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy draws you here to the card. Find comfort in uncertainty. And so what I'm picking up here straight off with his energy is that he's very uncomfortable with the way that the relationship is shifting. Things are changing and he feels like they're changing quite quickly. He says that you have changed up. You are not the same person that he thought you was and you are feeling the same way about him. The way it started is not the way it is going. And you're just wondering, like, why is he acting so weird? Why is he kind of controlling? 
why is he being the way that he is being? Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here good witch. And so with good witch, this is a clear indication that, you know what? He feels like you're tuned in. You know that something's going on, that he may have secrets. He's probably lying to you, playing games to you. So he knows that he can't get things past you that he was able to convince you with early on in the relationship. Thank you, spirit. You have a way of just knowing what's happening. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What's happening here? What are his honest feelings about you? Just honest feelings. Ooh, the two of pentacles. The two of pentacle energy does represent earth. Physical energy. And with the two of pentacles showing up, this is a clear indication that he knows that you have many options. You do not need him. He finds you actually to be very physically attractive, which is why he feels like you have many options. He feels like you may be weighing your options, or at least considering someone else. Thank you, spirit. Pentacle energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo could be seen in the top placements of the birth chart, the sun, moon, or rising signs, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. And his placements or your placements as a confirmation here in the reading. Let's get more insight. I can stop attracting don't wants by the attention to do a want. And I love this energy showing up here for you because this is a clear message. Let me check to you. This is a clear indication that. You cannot rid the world of things that bother you. You have got to rid your vibration of the things that bother you. And when you rid your vibration of the things that bother you on things that bother you, then they cannot come to you. <laughs> He's pressed that, see, you're, you're on this journey of being unbothered by his energy, his moods, his change up, his non, you know, like chalant attitude towards things. But you can feel like he's very sensitive type person. It's like sometimes you feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person. And you're just, it's just getting old. You're tired of it. Let's get more insight. And so what are his honest feelings about you? The Ace of Cups. I love the Ace of Cups showing up because this here, this is emotional energy. Water sign, energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces in the top placements of the birth chart as well. Thank you, Spirit. This is about like a new baby an, or new relationship. Spirit gave us that insight earlier with the Two of Pentacles, with him knowing that you got options, baby. You can have anybody that you want, but see, you're selective. You're picky. You're about quality and not quantity. And see, that is where he is mistaken. And in his mind, he's thinking, oh, she can have this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. But that is not what you want. But he thinks about that a lot. You being in a new relationship with someone. That you are someone. You are wifey material. Someone that... That divine masculine energy would love to propose to or even marry with the Ace of Cups energy showing up. Thank you, Spirit. This is a very high vibrational energy card. So he sees you as highly worthy, highly valuable, even if he does not tell you that himself. He sees you this way. So do not allow him to fool you just because he doesn't express it to you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit.
you have here earth, the earth element. And with the earth element, this is about survival, being adaptable, being reliable. And he sees you this way. You have the two of pentacles come out earlier. That's earth energy as well. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Top placements, his birth chart or yours, sun, moon, or rising signs, seventh house of relationships or even the planet Venus. He'd see you as a survivor. Like that Beyonce song, Destiny Child song, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to make it. He knows it. You're adaptable. You're reliable. You're grounded. You are loyal. That divine, loyal, um, divine, feminine, loyal energy. There for your man. There for the people that you love and care for. Always there. And very practical as well. Thank you, Spirit. It makes him quite insecure that you don't need him the way he thinks you should need him. He knows you, do, you don't. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? What are his honest feelings about you? The temperance energy. And of course, I love the temperance energy showing up because this is a very strong confirmation of the two of pentacles that showed up earlier. You have this air about you, this vibe, this energy that like you're unbothered. You see, you're on this path. You're on this journey of like this balance. It's something your soul is, be is seeking and something your soul needs. Balance of mind, body, and spirit. Taking care of yourself as seen in the temperance energy. Patience. That's that earth energy that just came out as well. Self-control and moderation. Laying right next here, next to the earth card. Let me just say your reading is extremely accurate. All of the cards are confirmative. Thank you, Spirit. And so beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. If you would like a more in-depth and personal reading, I can share with you things that I cannot share with you here on YouTube. Please visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.